Today I'm going to show you how to create a pop-up that appears the first time a user visits your site. What's up you guys? Thanks for tuning in with your boy Nino for another tutorial. All right. I got a tutorial for you guys today and it's going to be how to set up your pop-up that appears the first time a visitor visits your site. All right, so let's get started. So what you guys want to do here is you guys want to go ahead over to dev mode, turn dev mode on. Okay. Then what uh, we're going to do here is we're going to find a light box. All right. So once you find this light box, you come down here, light box, and then you want to go to promo. I don't know what you're using your light box for, but I'm just going to go to promo because I want to do a promotion for my clean cleaning windows business. I don't know. I just picked this site. All right. Uh, so I want to go ahead and match this whole thing up with my site real quick, just to have some transparency. All right. And then I'm going to change this button here. Uh, let's go ahead and change that color to blue. All right. So now that I got that straight, what I want to do here is I want to go to Lightbox. I want to go to set triggers. All right. What we're going to do here is we're going to make this announcement. All right. And we're going, okay, stop Wix. Um, announcement. I got to do it so slow because it's, cause it's pushing back. It's keeps pushing back. All right. So what we're going to do here now is uh, we're going to minimize this so that I can show you the whole full settings of the light box. All right. So what we're going to do here, we're going to say no. All right. Please check out my light box tutorial. It's going to be in the right hand corner. If you guys don't know so much about light boxes, give that a shot and learn a little bit more about light boxes. All right. So, oh, and it's Wix light boxes. All right. I just had to put the Wix emphasis on there because I don't know if some other uh, content management system actually has uh, a, a thing called Lightbox. All right, so you guys want to click no here so that it doesn't automatically display on your website. If you guys want to keep the icons here, you can, but you guys really don't need these. Uh, I mean, you do need these in order to close out of the Lightbox, but you don't really need them to uh, actually close the Lightbox. You guys can actually do it through, uh, uh, through Wix code if you guys want or you guys can actually uh, do it in the setup overlay. You can actually set it up to click it on close. Uh, clicking closes the light box basically. So you click inside the overlay is gonna close the light box. All right, so we're gonna exit out of that. We're gonna go back to our light box and then what we're gonna do here is we're gonna go down to the code panel. All right, uh, once we're in the code panel, we want to set up our code here. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to import window uh, and I'm going to import session. All right, so I'm going to import window by Wix. All right, so Wix window and I'm going to import Wix session. All right, and so what I'm going to do here is uh, explain to you guys why I put these here. So we put Wix window here so that we can actually uh, keep track of the light box and oh by the way guys um i'm putting this in the page of my light box which i shouldn't be doing i should actually be doing it in the site panel all right so i'm going to go over here to the site panel i'm going to click that and i'm going to do the same type of setup that i did on page panel right here all right so what i did was i set up the wix window and i set up the session okay all right so a little bit of background on the session in this tutorial, we're going to use session storage, uh, but you guys can use session storage or local storage. All right. And the difference between those are that session storage, uh, once we show this pop up here uh, for the first time, the user will see the uh, actual pop up. But uh, this will be only for this individual window that I'm in or tab that I'm in. OK. So if the user closes the browser tab and then visits the site again in a different tab, the pop-up will show again, okay? So if you guys wanna just limit it to the tabs, then you can do it that way. But if you do it by local storage, then this local storage will never expire, okay? And that means that it spans across the whole 
uh, the whole web browser window. All right, so even if you click out of the web browser and you think that, okay, I'm done with the web browser, it should, uh, it should reset everything. And then you go back to the site, it will not pop up again. All right, so make sure that if you want it to not pop up again until the user actually clears their cache in their, uh, in their web browser, then you should definitely um, make that call yourself. But what we're gonna do here is we're gonna just use session for now. Um, because I think that's just a safe way to do it. All right, so the code is actually really simple. What we're going to do here is we're gonna go ahead and say if statement, all right? So we're gonna say if you know this certain thing is here, then don't display it, all right? So don't display if this, this is coming back. So session.get item and we're gonna say, um, we're gonna say pop up. Pop up um, promotion. So pop up promotion. All right, you guys can name it whatever you guys want, but I'm just naming it right now, pop up promotion. All right, so what we're gonna do here is, uh, oh, just to let you guys know, this means right here that if if this uh, session item is not found, then don't do it, all right? But if if the session is not found actually, then do it, excuse me, because that makes it true. Because we're putting this exclamation mark here to make it false, all right? So false and a false will equal true, all right? So then it will actually go through here and we're gonna say Wix window dot open light box and right now we don't need the data. So I'm just going to go ahead and I hit the uh, quotes. Uh, I did shift quotes. All right. And we're going to put in the same name that we have from the light box. So what I'd normally do is uh, just to uh, not fall trap to, you know, spelling errors or anything like that. I just go back to set triggers. I see announcement. I do a control C or uh, con uh, command C, all right? And then I come back down here and then I press command or control V, all right? So that way we know we're setting it to the right light box, all right? So now you can just go ahead and get rid of this. I'll talk about that later in other tutorials that I'm going to do dealing with data and light boxes because I think that is so cool that you can actually transfer data up to a light box and then transfer it back to the site page. It's pretty cool. I go more into it in other tutorials, but right now this is not the time. All right, so go ahead and check out my other tutorials. Uh, I'm gonna set that up in the right hand corner right now as I speak. All right, so what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna go down here, all right? And this is just opening the pop-up window, okay? So the pop-up promotion that I uh, have right here. All right, and then what we want to do here is we want to set this session to get, uh, or to just set the item key, all right? Now what we wanna do is we're gonna put that in quotes, all right, and we're gonna say the same thing that we have up here, all right? So I'm just gonna control C or command C and then control V, command V right here of that same, uh, that same item name, all right? And then we're gonna set this value to be some type of value. So we're gonna say yes, because all this is doing here is just seeing if there is anything in the session uh, by this name right here, all right? So we can put whatever we want in here because it's gonna come back true, all right? And then so that'll be false, so that'll make this whole thing false, which it won't pop up the light box, all right? But if these are two falses here, so false and a false right here, all right, then it will become true, which it will actually do the assignment here. All right, that that's just an easier way to uh, go through the process without having an if else statement. Uh, but let's go ahead and run this code and see how if it, uh, see if it works, all right? So what we wanna do is we wanna exit out of the light box mode, all right? And then we're, we're, let's just go to any page. Since I put it in site, I just want you guys to show like, and to know that if you go on any type of uh, 
any type of page, it will show up. All right, so let's go ahead and sit preview. And boom, we actually have it showing up, all right? We have our light box showing up and it's a one-time pop-up, all right? It's in the session storage now. All right, now I wanna just shop now. I don't know what I'm shopping with uh, since this is a glass cleaning company. Maybe, maybe I'm shopping, uh, nope, I don't have any shopping here. So that was a bad, um, that was a bad promo for me. <laughs> Anyways, all right, so you guys get the gist. All right, if we go back, all right, and then we just click on like about, all right? We go to about, and then we go ahead to preview, and we'll preview it. The pop-up does not show anymore, and we can see that it is not here anymore and that it actually went through correctly. All right, so that is about it. Um, if you guys want to get more in depth about seeing if it's shown or not, uh, you guys can actually do like a console log. So what you guys can do here is uh, once this is popped up here, we can actually go to the announcement page here and go into the actual page itself and do a console log. All right, and then we'll say uh, Lightbox is open all right and this will actually show once this light box shows up but as as you guys know i already did uh this here so i'm just going i i've already i've already set the item here now if you guys want to just get rid of that item uh off jump then what you want to do here is you want to go here to your on ready function you want to go to session dot and then remove item key and then all you have to do is just uh, copy and paste this whole thing right here and it will remove that item and then it actually will do the uh, whole thing over again all right and then once that uh, removes it will show here in the console log that the light box is open and how you can check that is easy and simple uh, so you guys go to preview all right so it's going to lock that out and then boom you see right down here in the developer console it says lightbox is open all right so i guess that is about it for me you guys uh thanks for tuning in if you have any questions drop it below definitely give this thing a shot i hope you guys enjoyed it and thanks so much for watching but if you like this video hit that like button Subscribe if you aren't already, and I'll see you in the next video. Okay, guys, ciao.